All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson 11. And in this lesson, we're gonna be using base 10 blocks and we're gonna be pl using place value disks and we're gonna be representing numbers using both systems, both the base 10 blocks and the place value disks. Uh, the big thing, the difference between the two, why would we wanna do both? Well, the base 10 blocks give you a sense of scale. So the one is a 10th as big as the 10 and the 10 is a tenth as big as the 100, all right? So you get a sense of scale as you're building the numbers. The place value disks, on the other hand, they all look basically the same. The difference is that they're labeled differently, 100, 10, and 1. So what, what distinguishes the difference in terms of size becomes a little bit more abstract. It's in our mind that the 1 is a tenth as big as the 10, and the 10 is as 10th as big as 100. Um, so that's where we're going. We're going from the concrete, the base 10 blocks, to the place value disks and, and just gradually making numbers more abstract. So I, I took a screenshot for this slide because I gotta tell you, I was reading the directions and the directions said uh, DNS blocks. I've never heard of this word before. And I'm like, what the heck is DNS blocks? And so I had to Google it. And it turns out, uh, for me, <laughs> they're called base 10 blocks. I've always called them base 10 blocks. So there you have it. So that's the mystery solved. Uh, wherever you see the word DNS, uh, that's base 10 blocks. That's what I've always been you know, accustomed to calling them. Now here's the deal with the base 10 blocks. The base 10 blocks um, is, you know, you get these things. So that's a unit, that's a 10, and then here's a 100, all right? So um, it takes 10 10s to equal a 100, and it takes 10 ones to equal a 10, and, uh, and that's the deal. And you get a sense of this relative scale, this relative size, right? Uh, we're going to be using pl uh, place value disks here. So you got the 1, the 10, the 100. They're all basically, they look identical. They look the same. Uh, and what distinguishes them, as opposed to base 10 blocks, where what distinguishes them is the size, uh, what distinguishes the place value disks is the fact that they're labeled, either 1, 10, or 100. And so you lose a sense of scale, except for the fact that they're labeled differently. So um, I personally, when I'm teaching, I print out these base 10 blocks and I let the students cut them out and use them that way. Um, I do have a class set of base 10 blocks, but you know, to do this lesson, it is not mandatory that you have base 10 blocks. You are, you can cut out uh, base 10 blocks or have your students cut out base 10 blocks and, and they could use the paper versions. There's also a whole bunch of online base 10 blocks. So if you have iPads or Chromebooks, um, just Google online base 10 blocks, right? And then you will find a ton online base 10 blocks, all right? And you will find tons and tons and tons of uh, virtual manipulatives that you can use um, if you don't have base 10 blocks of your own, all right? Now, what do I do with the place value disks? I print them and cut them out. I watch my favorite stupid show on TV, and while I'm watching it, I just cut these little place value disks, um, and then when I have time, I laminate them, and that way I use them year after year after year. All right, so let's get going with the nuts and bolts of the math. So in the lesson, in the concept development, the idea is you're gonna build a number, and you're gonna build it twice. First, you're going to build it with a base 10 blocks. Then you're going to build it with your place value disks. And uh, we're going to allow students the opportunity to see how the two things are related. So let's take a look at 129. Now, in our the directions, it says you've got a pl uh, place value chart right here. right? And then we're going to model it. So... You don't need to label at this point uh, ones, tens, hundreds. At this point, we could just leave it alone. If you want, you could um, label a little cube right here. You could do the rod right here, and then you could do the big old waffle right here. And you, Q 
cube rods and waffles, or I've heard some people call these like cubes, French fries and waffles, you know, I mean, you could call them anything you want, but it basically stands for ones, tens, and hundreds, but we don't need to label, label them at this point. Now to model 129, we need 100, so I'm going to grab 100. Now, whoa! All right, so now, okay, so I'm, my, uh, chart is not big enough, but I'm going to just simulate because really this is for parents and adults. This isn't really for the kids. Um, but here's our 100. Now, if we want to model 129, remember, um, I'm going to need two of these. And, and then I'm going to need nine cubes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there we go. So that's 129. All right, so that's using the base 10 blocks. Now, if I wanted to, to model, let's see, I'm going to make a thick line there. Now, if I wanted to model using the place value disks, here's my ones, my tens, and my hundreds, and I wanted to model 129, that would look like I'd grab 100, and I'd put 100 right here in the hundreds column. I took, put a couple of tens in the tens column. There's my 20. And then for nine, I would need nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what a horribly organized chart. So now you could see that I've got a hundred and 29. So there's my hundreds column. I've got a hundred right here. I've got 20 here and I've got nine right here. Now something I want you to notice about what I did with base 10 blocks for the units here and the ones here. I or organized them in the five group method. So I put five and then four. And I put five and then four. And that was very deliberate because I'm kind of mimicking the 10 frames that our students are probably familiar with. So that was intentional. The idea would be, let's build a few numbers and build it both with base, base 10 blocks and with place value blocks. Let's let our students get comfortable shifting back and forth between the two systems. And then for homework, the idea is we're going to move only to the place value disks. All right. So our students ideally have been given a bunch of place value disks. Hopefully you printed them out on paper, teachers, and you just let your kids cut them out. Give them a few minutes, cut them out. They need the fine motor skills anyway, right? Uh, so now they have their place value disks in a little baggie, like a lunch baggie. And they're going to take it home and they're going to model. So if we want to model, oh, let's say we want to model 15, what would that look like? Well, it would be a 10 and five ones. Now right now, teachers, uh, we're not going to be too picky about how they organize their disks. Um, I'm being very particular. I put my 10 here and then I put my five here, but our, our our students, our second graders, don't need to be that precise. Um, I am going to show, however, let's let's model 102. 102 is kind of fun because that's just 100. And then you have two disks. Now, some students, a kind of a fun question might be, um, now, what's bigger? Uh, now, some students might be thinking, um, this, because it has six disks, is bigger than this because it has three disks. At this point, students don't have to know the answer, uh, but 102, of course, is bigger than 15, and, and we could talk about that, although we're not expecting students to understand it at this point. And then the last thing, I, I love this page uh, simply because it juxtaposes, um, like, I'm going to put it right here, 42 and 420. So you've got the same digits. You've got the 4, the 2, the 4, and the 2. And I'm going to put this in a place value chart. All right. And so what is 42 going to look like? Well, 42 is going to look like you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you've got 2. So that's what 42 is going to look like. Now the question is, what would 420 
look like? Well, 420 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2. So it's interesting. You've got 42, you've got 4 disks and 2 disks. You've got 420, which is 4 disks and 2 disks. But obviously, 420 is much bigger than 42. And we can, you can let the start students begin this informal discussion about why is that? What's going on here? And it turns out that the place value is very, very important. And that wraps up second grade module three, lesson 11, where we are using place value disks to count ones, tens, and hundreds.